Welcome back again, friends. Matt with Eddie's Guitar is coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. I have highly been anticipating this day that this guitar would arrive. This is a very special guitar for us. Uh, the first of a Eddie's Guitars exclusive run that we've done with Dana Bourgeois called the Finger Style Custom Series. Um, beautiful guitars, particularly outfitted for a kind of a delicate, lighter approach, finger style approach. And uh, just really, uh, we've been very impressed by the first one that we've seen here. This is a J-O-M-C thin body guitar. Um, of course, the J-O-M, the Jumbo O-M, which is an original design from Dana. Uh, kind of a, a blown up O-M guitar. Um, 15 and a half inch lower bout here, similar to a Dreadnought, but you can see a much tighter waist and uh, closer proportions to an actual O-M guitar, just a little bit bigger. The C, of course, designates the uh, cutaway here, allowing a little bit higher access beyond the 12th and 14th frets. And thin body, uh, the JOM normally is a bit deeper body than a standard OM guitar. This particular one, being a thin body, is the same depth as a standard OM. That gives you a very nice focus in tone as well as great sustain and just uh, adds to the responsive nature of the guitar. All of the finger style custom guitars that we've done are all going to be dressed the exact same way from all the aesthetic bindings and, uh, and all the detailings as well as the same tone wood choices. You can see here that we started with a gorgeous redwood top. Beautiful piece here, very even in color. And uh, you know, redwood is a perfect choice for a finger style instrument as it's very responsive to a light touch and just has a very warm sound to it, very kind of cozy sound, which is very nice. The body, the neck, and the headstock are all bound in a super highly flamed koa, beautiful stuff. And you can see the top border here on the guitar is Dana's signature wood herringbone, kind of three-tone herringbone there, beautiful. Back and sides of this guitar are a premium grade set of Coco Bolo, and this is just a magnificent set of Coco Bolo, very wild grain to it, some beautiful sapwood in the center, and that's Dana's signature herringbone back strip uh, going down the back there, kind of tying in with the, uh, the border on the top of the guitar. Gorgeous back set though, very wild stuff. This has the one and three quarter nut, with two and five sixteenths spacing down here at the bridge, which is really ideal for uh, comfortable finger style. Get your fingers in here comfortably without getting your hand too cramped up. All the way up on the headstock is a matching Coco Bolo veneer, and that is a bone bourgeois inlay all the way up top there with uh, gold Waverly tuning machines and uh, snake wood buttons kind of tying the whole package together. You can see that we kept things very clean on the fingerboard of the guitar. There's no inlays at all. Uh, a little bit more contemporary looking, but very clean. Thought it kind of fit the, uh, the style and the vibe of these particular instruments. The bracing on this guitar is pretty special as well. It's a fully torified Adirondack bracing as well as a torified maple bridge plate. Uh, it's fully scalloped, of course, as well, making for a, a nice response to even the kind of the lightest touch and it has uh, all animal protein glue on the inside, which eventually will dry to be just incredibly hard, incredibly resonant, and it's a very efficient material to use as a binding material in there, uh, as it really is just going to make for a more resonant guitar in the future. Uh, you know, the, the redwood Coco Bolo wood combination is going to be pretty dramatic in its lows. It's going to be nice and dark and rich, tremendous overtones out of it. I don't think it lacks a bit in the top end, but it's a rather mild top end, kind of tame compared to an Alpine Spruce or an Engelman Spruce by comparison. Uh, and again, just great for finger style applications. It'll, it'll take a pick as well, but it's kind of tuned for finger style. Let's go take a listen to that now. 